Okay, um, this is my video on episode 17 of season 7 of Once Upon a Time. This is Chosen, and it was the Lana Perea directed episode. Um, I do have things I want to show you, but I want to go ahead and start talking. Um, this is the episode that had the retelling of the Hansel and Riddle storyline. It was so boring. Boring, boring, and boring. I've seen it before. I saw it in season 1. The difference is that it's Zelina instead of Regina that's involved, and Hansel and Riddle weren't sent in there by Regina, I mean Zelina, like, they were originally sent by Regina, it's, I'm like, so you've slightly changed it, slightly, and it takes place in Oz, like, this is, I mean, so there's a Hansel and Riddle now in every world, is there a Hansel and Riddle in Wonderland too? I'm, I mean, what's going on? Like, how many versions of Hansel and Gretel are you going to have on your show? Or of any character? It's it's annoying. It's ridiculous. It's it makes it so hard to keep track of the characters and who's who, where are they from again, and how are they, you know, connected to this person. Uh, it was so much simpler when it was just the one set of characters. There was only one Cinderella. One evil queen. You didn't have this wish realm thing and enchanted version. Enchanted Forest 2 and two Oz's now or one Oz or I don't even know. Like, but and then this obviously takes place before the first curse. Like the very very first curse that Regina casted back in season 1 for um, the timeline. I mean, I was under the impression I've seen everything as Lena's past. Apparently not. It's like, and it's very similar to what was done in other Zelina episodes. That is, like, can you redo something new with her? You know? Not the same old, same old. So it's very boring, the, the backstory of, and the reason why Hansel hates her so much. She burned him. That was pretty much it. I mean, like, that, that, that's why. And I guess he thinks that his sister's death was caused by her somehow, and I don't know. It, it's just really, like, the reason for your revenge. Like, these, these revenge stories are very lackluster this season. Like, Drizella's reason for revenge. It's like, Oh, you were second fiddle to the to Anastasia. That's it. That's why you want to have havoc and seek revenge against your mother. Okay. Really? I mean, it's not like, you know, someone ripped out the heart of your loved one and crushed it in front of you and then proceeded to chop your hand off or forced you to marry someone that you didn't have any feelings for, but I don't know, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. So the backstory, so boring. So boring. I'm like, I've seen this before. On this very show. It's not like, oh, I've seen it before on a different show. I've seen it on this show. That's the sad thing is, that's one of the problems with the season is, it's just repeating so many storylines. But mostly season one. It's like, and this is me during the episode, I'm just like, hmm. Is it over yet? Is it over yet? Before, like for the first six seasons, I'm like, oh my god, what did it just happen? That's so cool. Like, I'm so into this. This season, not really. Not really. Not that much. I mean, I, I did enjoy the Guardian episode, but I mean, that was a little bit more and something somewhat different to saying. I mean, this is what it, it was just, it's a version of Hansel and Riddle, whereas that one was, you know, it was mostly a Rumpel-centric storyline of him trying to find a way to, yeah, you know, get rid of the dagger. But, I mean, we have seen that before, too, but still, this is him at least wanting to get rid of it for a good reason. But, whatever. This, it was a boring, uh, past storyline. The present storyline 
kind of ties into it because it's Nick, Nick slash Hansel slash Jack. Oh yeah, yeah, trying to get rid of his revenge on Regina. I mean Selena, in the present day storyline, you find out that it was Facilier that woke him up. He's kidnapped Henry because he thinks Henry was gonna get in the way somehow. Um. And because Henry figured out who he was. And what's sad is, for me, that they made Nick the killer, is that Henry really didn't have any friends. When when you watch the first six season, he really didn't have any friends growing up. I, I mean, I thought he would make friends with the original Hansel and Gretel and Grace, but that never happened, apparently. I don't know, I mean, we, we, Henry doesn't go to school. In, this, in those seasons, I, I mean, seriously, like, he's supposed to be in school, yet he's not, so I don't know what's going on there, but whatever, um, but it's sad because this is his first friend, and it's like, what? Really? You make him the killer? Poor Henry, can't even have a friend. Um, this episode was also really light on Rumpel and Hook. Um, they had, I think Hook had three scenes. Uncle